Look at this arm, bro. Look, look at this arm, bro. About 2,500 years ago, a prince was born. His father wanted to save him from all the pain in the world, so he enclosed him in a palace to shield him and gave him a luxurious lifestyle. But the prince did not feel happy. He wanted to leave the palace, and so he did. Upon escaping the palace, he was shocked to discover human suffering, diseases, hunger, violence, death. In search of his happiness, the prince chose to live an ascetic lifestyle devoid of pleasure. That prince is called Siddhartha Gautama and he founded the religion of Buddhism. I'm not religious and this is not a religious video, but that pleasure is not happiness was known 2500 years ago so why are you ruining your life right now? In this video I'll explain why the pursuit of pleasure ruins life, what happiness actually is and how to attain it. Purposeful men, we gather. My whole life I was unhappy. I'm a very melancholic, nihilistic person. I was exactly like you bro, sitting at home, playing games, eating junk food, watching porn or going out drinking and degenerating. Seemingly, on the surface, I had an easy life, so I should be happy, right? Nope, I wasn't. In fact, I was so depressed that I nearly killed myself. With time, I fixed my depression, but I never really found happiness. I became kind of nihilistic and indifferent to the world. But recently, in the last few months, something has changed and I have found true happiness. I won't give you some basic hippie advice here. I struggled for a while and I was very nihilistic, more so than you bro, believe me. They literally knew me as the guy who didn't care for anything. I didn't think anything had meaning, but now I can't believe it still, but I found happiness. But let me first tell you what pleasure is. Pleasure is just the reward system in your brain that has evolved in order for you to pursue behaviors which are favorable to your survival. Every time you do something that the brain wants, you get a reward of dopamine release in the brain, which dopamine is a hormone that makes you feel the pleasure. But this reward system is outdated, so to speak. It works in nature when we were hunter-gatherers, but not in modern society. Here are the problems you encounter by chasing pleasure. First, chasing pleasure makes you a weak person. A human becomes mentally strong when he overcomes suffering, when he overcomes difficulty. A life of pleasure automatically makes you weak because there is no difficulty. So you don't grow, you don't improve, you don't adapt when things are easy. If some of you are wondering why they are depressed, without reason and life seems so difficult for them, that is because you are a mentally weak person. Every time things get hard, you hide behind music or anime or games or porn or substances, just anything to save you from the pain of what life truly is. But like this, you will never grow in life and you will forever remain depressed. You have to face the reality and build mental strength, but this will never happen if you constantly chase pleasures. The second problem that pleasure creates is that it corrupts people. All human corruption stems from someone being selfish and chasing their own pleasure without caring for other people. The corrupt politicians chase money and power for their own pleasures. The killers kill for their own sick pleasure. The predators attack children for their own pleasure. The thieves steal because they want something that will potentially give them pleasure. These are extreme examples, but if you're chasing pleasure, you can end up being such a person. All that needs to happen is that you chase your pleasure enough over the years so that it slowly amplifies and becomes bigger and then you only need to lose control once. No person dreams of being a child predator when he's young, but it happens anyway and it happens slowly. Maybe at 20 years old the predator watches porn, at 24 he starts watching Lolly or some other weird category that resembles ch children or underage girls, then by 28 he starts watching actual illegal underage stuff, and by 30 he is in prison for you know what, it's gradual. It builds up. Pleasure creates corruption in the human soul and it does so slowly. It's like the opposite of self-improvement, it's self-degeneration. If you want to be a depressed person, a weak person and a corrupt person, then go ahead. 
chase pleasure. But if you want to be happy, listen to me and listen closely. This is the rawest advice that I never found on YouTube. I figured it out by myself. Happiness is completely internal. It's in your head. It does not depend on what is happening in the outside world, whether it's suffering or pleasure. Happiness is this consistent satisfaction you feel from life, even when things are hard. You know you're happy when your life gets difficult, there is suffering, but you still feel happy. Yesterday, I felt demotivated for the whole day. I don't know why, I just felt terrible. I felt demotivated. I barely uploaded a YouTube video, but despite the difficult day, I was still a happy person. Happiness is that inner fulfillment and the love of life with all its aspects, whether it's pain or pleasure. To achieve this constant happiness and fulfillment in life, three things need to happen. First, you need to find your meaning in life, find your purpose. Second, you need to become productive and hard working on that purpose. Third, you need to learn to enjoy the present moment. Let's start with the first one. You need to find your purpose in life. Being nihilistic and viewing everything as meaningless is completely destructive to any form of happiness. So what if there isn't a God? So what if the sun will implode in 7 billion years and humanity will end? So what? Life doesn't need to have a deeper meaning. Your meaning is found in other people. You look at the children on the street and tell me their futures mean nothing. You look at people starving and dying and tell me their suffering means nothing. You fall in love with a woman and look at her in the eyes and tell her that your love means nothing. I refused. We might not mean anything to the universe. We might not mean anything to a God. But our life, our human life, should be meaningful to us. Humanity is important for me and human life is important for me. I don't care what the universe says. I don't care if there is a God or not. Because life can be beautiful and that is enough meaning for me. A purpose in life is found there where you can contribute that humanity with your talents. If you want to find your purpose, pursue your talents even if others are saying you shouldn't. I found my purpose by doing the exact stuff people told me is risky and I shouldn't do it. I did not go to university because I wanted to start a YouTube channel, but it was the best decision of my life. Because this pursuit of what truly interested me, despite the objections of my family and friends, led me to uncovering my purpose, finding my meaning in life and becoming happy. If I had gone to university, I would have either quit by now or I would have still been nihilistic and depressed. So if you want to be happy, pursue what interests you. Do not listen to others and eventually you will discover the purpose in life that makes you happy and that you are good at. Once you find your purpose, you'll see how no suffering in the world can bring you down. But besides finding it, you need to start acting on it. This is the second key to happiness. You need to become productive. You need to be disciplined on the pursuit of the purpose because the path is usually brutal and includes a lot of suffering. When you achieve that self-control and you start doing the right things, which is the things necessary for your purpose, you will feel fulfilled. But if you don't do the right things and return to bad habits and lose self-control, you will start becoming depressed again. So you need to learn to be productive once you find your purpose. This is very important productivity. Finally, in order to achieve happiness, you need to develop a very specific skill. The skill of enjoying the present, current moment. Once you find your purpose and you become productive and you start doing your best, from there you need to learn to just enjoy life for what it is. There will be suffering, there will be negative emotions, there will be failures and frustrations, but you need to learn to enjoy all that. Happiness is a choice and happiness is a skill. The skill of enjoying the present moment, no matter what is happening. So if you're being productive on your purpose, you can simply remind yourself to enjoy life, no matter how hard it gets. Because each experience is valuable. You're walking the path you're supposed to walk, you're doing what you're supposed to, you're doing your best, and from there, you must value each and every single experience. Doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. Every experience is valuable. Learn to enjoy it. With time, you'll see how you become very good at the skill of enjoying the present moment. So in summary, pleasure leads to depression, weakness, and corruption. 
Happiness is completely internal and independent of pain or pleasure. It is achieved by finding your purpose in life that gives you meaning, becoming productive and doing your best in achieving that purpose and learning the skill of enjoying the present moment. Thanks for watching. If you like this type of content and you believe in me as a creator who can help people, then join the movement and become a purposeful man. If you want to further support me, then check out the description and remember, if you don't achieve your purpose, nobody will. Be ruthless. Whew.